What is up everyone, your friendly programmer here back with another video. Today we'll go over how to set up your environment. I'll be using Windows 10 for this tutorial, but feel free to use any OS you like. Since I'm using Windows, I'll be going over installations for this OS. So for those of you on Mac or Linux, you'll have to get the corresponding softwares for your own machine. All right, with that said, let's dive right in. So the first thing we'll need to do is install the, J the Java JDK. Right now, the latest version for Java is Java 17. So that's what we'll be using for this tutorial series. For those of you who are wondering what the JDK is, it stands for the Java Standard Edition Development Kit, and it contains the software you need to develop applications using the Java programming language. Okay, so here we select which OS we want to download Java for. Since I have Windows, I'll download the Windows SDK. Um, also, you might note that there's three different download options here. Just click the second one because it's the easiest one to follow. Um, and once it finishes downloading, we can click this button and the JDK installation wizard will pop up for us. Um, also note that there's the Java runtime environment, the Java or the JRE. Um, that's different from the JDK, the Java development kit. Um, so be sure to install the JDK um, and not the JRE. Okay, so here the um, installation is beginning and now the wizard popped up. So we just want to follow through um, this wizard, click next and get through this entire wizard. And I think this takes a little bit of time. Um, okay, so there we go. So now we have the JDK installed and we're ready to move on to the next part. Okay, so the next thing we'll need to do is install the Eclipse IDE. So let's click this download button right here. And let's click this button right here. And there we go. So now we're going to install the installer for the Eclipse IDE. Right now, the latest version for Eclipse is the 2021-09 version. So that's what we'll be installing in this tutorial. Um, feel free to use any other version of Eclipse. Um, they should all work just fine for this tutorial. So it looks like the installer is almost done installing. Um, Alright, there we go. So let's click that. And the installer should be coming up soon. Yep, there it is. So let's wait for this installer to open up. All right. All right, so there we go. So now the installer opened up and you notice here there's a bunch of different options we can choose. We want to select the Eclipse IDE for Java developers because we're going to be developing in Java. Here we want to select the path for our JDK that we just installed. So that's the JDK for the Java 17. Um, you can also click these buttons right here just to make opening up Eclipse easier for you. And after that, you want to click the install button. And I think this installer takes a bit of time, um, so you just got to be a little patient here. For those of you who are unfamiliar with IDEs, it stands for Integrated Development Environment. 
and it's basically a tool that programmers can use to write, build, and develop their code in. Um, the reason why I chose to use Eclipse as their IDE is because it, it's one of the most popular and in my, uh, my own opinion is one of the best IDEs out there for Java development. Um, I've used Eclipse for a lot of my Java projects in the past. Um, and I know a lot of hotkeys now for, for Eclipse, so developing in Eclipse is a lot easier for me. Um, <clears throat> if you want to use other IDEs out there, like Visual Studios, um, you know, feel free to use them. And if you have questions about installing those to work with this tutorial series, feel free to add those comments in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer those for you. Alright, so this should finish installing soon. Um, yeah, so let's just wait for this to install. All right, so it looks like it finished installing. So now we can launch it up. Um, and so let's let the Eclipse IDE load up real quick. Um, yeah, something cool about the Eclipse IDEs is that they always have a different loading image. It looks like the one for this version is some kind of comment. Uh, I use the 2018 version a lot, and that was a Mars image. Okay, so now we want to type in our workspace that we want to use. Um, this is basically where all of the projects they develop in Eclipse will be saved and accessed from. So once you do that and you click launch, then the Eclipse IDE should start up. All right, so it looks like it's almost done. Um, all right, so now we have Eclipse installed and opened up. Um, and now we can very quickly create a Java project. So let's go here, click this button to create a Java project. Um, once you click that, then it should open up this. Um, and we can enter our project name here. So I'll name it Super Mario Bros tutorial and we can unclick this module dash info dot java file because we don't need it. Um, here we can just stick with all of the default settings and we can click finish. And so now you'll see this folder here with our Java project and inside this source folder, we can create a new package. So we'll create this package and call it com.game.main. And once that's created, we can click finish. And there's our package. And now we want to go to new class and create a new class. So we'll call this game.java. Um, this will be our main class, so let's click this public static void main option, and let's finish. Okay, so in the next video, I'll be doing a brief crash course on the basic Java concepts you'll need for this tutorial series. 
I'll go over object-oriented programming, variables, functions, packages, enums, keywords, control statements, and loops. If you're already an expert on Java, feel free to skip over the next video. But if you're new to Java or just want a quick refresher, then I highly recommend watching the next video before getting into the actual game development side of things. Alright, so that's it for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all the updates. That's it. See you in the next video.